Hey guys, it's Lance from Big Show Mobile Entertainment. Uh, got a got a couple of questions after my last gig log about a particular piece of gear I'm using. So I thought we'd stop, take a look at it. Some people wanted to know some more. It was the Phonic Wireless System for powered speakers. So let's take a look. Well, most people are familiar with the back of uh, traditional powered speaker. This one happens to be a PV. PR12P. Of course we've got your typical connections. The one we're going to be focusing on primarily today is the XLR input. And then of course there's the gain for it. Now to run these without cables I've invested in the Phonic uh, wireless receiver and transmitter for powered speakers. Over here we've got the transmitter take a look at the back first it's got a power in runs off a wall wart just like a lot of wireless mics and then two XLR ends I believe they can also be used with uh, TRS connections but I prefer XLR uh, my experience has been they keep the noise level down This happens to be the WNSYS 4 700. Well, on the front panel, we've got trim or gains for each channel, clip indicators channel selector, there's 15 selectable channels, and then a mono stereo uh, switch, and then the power switch. I generally run in mono uh, because of the distance between the speakers. And then these are the receivers. Again, 15 channels selectable, you match them to the unit. power indicator, radio frequency indicator, auto frequency indicator. I believe it's auto frequency. <clears throat> On the back here I've attached some Velcro which I've attached the other half to the speaker itself. It's got a power input and XLR only out. Now when it comes time to set up as one might imagine, a couple of XLR connectors from the mixer to the receiver connected with power. And then we just go over to our speaker, slap that on top. Plug in the XLR connection. the other end into the and of course power to the speaker and such depending on what I'm using it for if it's just dinner music uh, at say a reception I will keep the gain on the speaker low to help drop some of the ambient noise you know the hiss and hum and boost the gain on the transmitter. Now if I'm using it for dance playback I reverse that and lower the gain on the transmitter because I'm going to be getting a much hotter signal with the transmitter and up the gain on the speaker. Now of course when I set up I, I decide how hard I'm going to be running what my max volume is going to be, max output and I will run these up with the speaker again all the way down I'll run these up until they just start clipping and then back them off a little bit and then come over to the speaker run it up until it just starts clipping back it off a whole number giving me a little extra headroom come back over to the mixer and drop my volume back down so really easy setup, 
Uh, I've used them as far apart as 150 feet. I don't remember what the spec on them is, if they'll go further than that. But it's a real handy piece of gear and it, it saves a lot of this stuff. You know, the good old gaffer's tape. Now for those of you that are new, maybe to the DJ or audio industry, this is not black duct tape. This is gaffer's tape. It's made with a natural rubber. And the beautiful thing is, is it doesn't leave a sticky residue. That's good for two reasons. Venues don't like sticky residue on their carpet, on their floors, etc. And as entertainers, I know we don't like sticky residue on our cables. Gaffer's tape is much more expensive than black duct tape, but it's worth every penny. Uh, if you're going to count yourself as a professional, I think it's definitely a thing that needs to be used. So that's it for the Phonic Wireless System. If you have any questions, let me know. Of course, uh, any comments, leave them below. And practice and enjoy.